um, you know, starting off, of course, it's uh, one of those games where we were always, you know, seemed like we were down early, and it was kind of a catch-up game. And and uh, and I thought it, I thought we had some great energy at, at times and at, at different parts of the game, but unfortunately, we didn't have that long staying 40 minutes that we needed. And uh, to give Tennessee State a lot of credit, they came in very, very aggressive, um, very, very hungry. And, and I, I really do. I, I think they just played a, a, a better, tougher game than we did. And, uh, and that's why some of the shots that maybe normally they weren't making throughout the year, they're, they're going in and, and the confidence grew on their end and, and we weren't getting the stops that we need to and we really it came down to crucial times. But uh, and again, I think that their physicality uh, you know, really took us out of some things that we want to do and really kind of sped us up and we kind of played their game instead of really playing Southeast basketball, which is, uh, which is frustrating. But, um, you know, we just got to go back and, and grow. And we have some good performances from some individual players, but this is a team sport and, and uh, we all have to be ready to go. And tonight we just had individual performances, not a, not a, team, not a team effort, which is uh, the reason why I believe that we lost that game tonight. Are you saying that uh, they're shooting? especially that first half was more them or was it something that your defense needed to pick up? Well, I think, uh, I think they got some, they got some easy baskets down low early and I think that gave them some confidence. And I think, uh, you know, once they made a three point shot, they're not normally, um, stat wise, a, a three point shooting team, but they got some, they got some, uh, fire going, they got some confidence going, they, they knocked some down. So I think that helped them, but, um, you know, we, we try to go to a zone and, uh, you know, they, they knocked down, I think, two threes in a row. And then we went back to the man and just to try to keep them off a little bit. But, you know, whatever we try to, you know, try to do to kind of disrupt them a little bit, they, uh, they countered and, and uh, it was just one of those nights they played a heck of a ball game. But, uh, you know, we had some, we had some errors as well. We, we had some mental breakdowns on, the, on both ends and, and uh, that's what hurt us. Um, Counter King. You know, somebody who's been kind of up and yeah. down really consistent all year. She's been at a couple of good games in a row now. Um, and, and Rachel, too, or, um, uh, Jordan, the same way. Yeah. You know, what are you looking for consistently? consistency from them as individuals? Yeah. And how important is it going to be for them to be consistent as we continue on down stretch? That's, that's the name of our team right now, to be honest. It's, it's consistency. And uh, we, we are a little bit like that. And, you know, it's nice to see Connor tonight. You know, I think she had a career high, 13 points. She was definitely more aggressive, shot a nice percentage. Um, it was great to see Connor step out and knock down a three-point shot. You know, she, that's our offense. We want our four player to be able to be versatile and to be able to shoot the ball from outside. So it's nice that she has that confidence right now to do it. Jordan Hunter put together a back-to-back, -back, uh, two really good ball games, which is big. And again, we, we need that, but, uh, you know, and I think Olivia Hackman, I think those three played really well. And uh, unfortunately, we're going to need a lot more than three players and uh, to be successful. And, and uh, but again, consistency is something that we, we harp on every day. We talk about it and, and, uh, and that's something we just got to keep working. But I, they got to just be ready to come to work every day and, and get better. And, and uh, that's all we can do. And, you know, some of the kids, like I just mentioned, with Connor and with Olivia, being sophomores, this is really the first time we've really asked them to, to be the one, and uh, they're going through those phases this year. And, and uh, you know, last year they were kind of the role player, and now this year they're we really are counting on them. So they're going through a little bit of that is growing phase as well too. And but uh, you know, it's nice to see them break out a little bit individually tonight.